Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with Jaspie's 13 box Bowman Bonanza mixer. It's a Bonanza of Bowman, random team break number two. A lot of nice boxes here, all card chip, all teams are in. Big thanks to this group for making it happen. Thanks to the people who bought their spots straight up, appreciate that. And congrats again to the winners of spots in those two capstone breaks, number 10 and number 11. Again, all 30 teams are in. Let's roll it, let's randomize names and teams. One and a five, six times. One, two, three, four, five, and six. After six, we've got Brian down to Oliver for the spot that he won in the filler. One and a five, six times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, and good luck. Sixth and final time. After six, we got the O's down to the Shy Sox. All right, Brian, you got Baltimore. Chad with the Braves, Ryan with the Padres, Chris with the Jays, Anthony got my Dodgers, Brandon with the Nationals, Rennie with the uh, Rangers, Clint with the Red Sox, Brandon, Reds, Tristan with the Royals, Chad with the Diamondbacks, Octavio with the Yankees, Tristan with the Cardinals, uh, Josh with the Giants, Nancy with the Mets, Robert with the Twins, Chris with the Angels, Jake with the A's, Chad Daw with the Brew Crew, Ryan with the Guardians, Adam with the Cubs, Chris with the Astros, Tristan with the Mariners, Brian Crouch with the Marlins, Brian Heyman with the Tampa Bay Rays, Jake with the Phillies, Ryan with the Rocks, and the Pirates, Clint with the Tigers, and Oliver, you got the Chicago White Sox. All right, let's sort by, by team. And we're gonna pause the video for the trade window. When we come back, we'll see if there's any trades, and then we'll have the break. Stick around, be right back. All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. No deals were done here on a Tuesday. Random team break number two. Thanks, everybody, for making this happen. And we did, we do have more boxes. So we can run this mixer back um, at some point this week. All right, so we're going to start with, so we got our five first editions right here. We're going to start with the base heavier stuff first, then we'll work our way back to, uh, to the Sapphire. Good luck, everybody. This is 2022 Bowman Baseball. One autograph per box on average. Thanks, everyone, for making this happen. Appreciate it. Got my Lakers on TV here. They're, uh, they're no LeBron, but they're playing pretty tough. They're tied at 42-42. Two minutes left in the first half. This is what the Lakers need to do, you know, play play the defense. 42-42, that's a really low score, actually. Everyone had the under on this game, right? Clean. Yeah, oh yeah. Started from started from zero, started from the bottom. Now we're here. Randy, what's going on? How are you? Do all, I keep forgetting, do all card chip in this? Yeah, all card chip. Uh, yes, I did, card shark. But it'll be, it'll be back on there again. I think it sold out. We had to do one more filler. 
forgot about the extra filler. But I think that's already sold out, so it can be re-added to the schedule a little bit later tonight. So keep an eye on that schedule. Got a C.J. Abrams, Atomic. It's a Bowman Chrome Julio Rodriguez. We got a James Wood. Ooh, piece of candy. 208 out of 250. That will be for that's the wrong here. And that'll be for the Padres, that'll be for Ryan. Oh, no need, car shark. No need to do that. It's going to be on the schedule. I know it's sold out. It'll be on the schedule. No need for the extras. Just keep save save that tequila bottle money. Keep buying into our breaks. There's Randy with the Yankees. Randy Vasquez for the Yankees. That's going to go to Octavio. And we'll do an autograph recap towards the end of the break as well. There's a rookie card, rookie paper, Wander Franco, Brian Heyman with the Rays. Yeah, I mean, it's it's that time of year. We, we always uh, we always get that uh, that tax tax refund bump every year, and I think the I think the card companies have started. Uh, I think we've noticed over the last few years, you know, seeing some some releases. All this this year is a little weird just because of the. A lot of delays in products, but but yeah, for the most part, for the most part, you're seeing some bigger releases getting released during tax refund season. Gilo, you owe taxes every year. Am I doing something wrong? Probably. Chad Dove, he's listening. Tell 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 Gabe what he's doing wrong. There's Luis Matos to four ninety nine. You should probably look at your withholdings, your federal and state withholdings. And change that number accordingly. All right, one more of these boxes. I'm gonna start. Then we'll start working through the Bowman firsts here. 2022 Bowman Draft first editions. Nice. You got a forty dollar refund last year. Used it in a filler. Nice. Yeah, or maybe, yeah, maybe, maybe, uh, maybe Gabe's just trying to tell us that he just makes a lot of money. That's why he never gets refunds. He's just, he's just in a different tax bracket, Jose. When you get to the first edition, do you want me to help you tax that? Yeah, uh, yeah, sure. Uh, I don't know. If this is 
it's a mixer. Uh, no, I'm good. Because once I'm done with those, I can fly through the other boxes. So I think we're in good shape. You know what we can do is uh, put that mixer into one of our mail tubs yeah. and then grab just like a sheet of paper and just put baseball mixer and um, and taken out assortly so, so we know. Okay. Just for other people yeah. or in case I forget. I don't want to take it out a second time. Sometimes I forget, like if that mixer happens days later or someone else does it. You, you meant it's just right a, on the paper. Yeah, yeah right on the paper okay. taken out. So, yeah, that's what I meant. Just so we don't accidentally, or if someone else does it. I was walking over there and I was like, I think that's what you meant. That's, that's, that's what I meant, not take it out of shortly. I know you did that already. <laughs> All right, we got some. We got a Chris Bryant, Giants edition. One, two, three out of 399. Lime paper, Giants edition for Josh. Jackson Curios Bowman first. And that'll be for the Brew Crew, Chad Daw with the, uh, the highly touted prospect. Brewers manager, I think Craig Council, suggested that if he has a good spring, they, they may just start the clock on him. There's a piece of a Bowman card. There's a uh, Zaid Salinas, 99 out of 150, blue shimmer, Padres, Ryan. A Wander Franco rookie card in there is our autograph. It's Luis Gonzalez, 97 out of 299. This is Orioles edition going to Brian in Baltimore. I like that, that speckle look is really cool. Wander Franco rookie paper going to Mr. Heyman and the Rays. Should I put it back in the inventory room? Uh, yes, please. Thank you. Purple paper, Jack Sawinski, 132 out of 199 for the Pirates. That's going to be for Ryan Heinz. Yeah, Jose, that's the that's the big Dodger news of the day. Gavin Lux out for the uh, probably the entire season, yeah. Especially with speed kind of being a bigger a big part of his game. I think they're gonna let him just recover. Uh, the good news, I suppose, if there's a silver lining is that um, is that it was it happened early in the spring you know so he'll should be ready for you know, he should be ready for spring training next year
fully recovered, probably fully rehabbed by 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 the time that happens. Yeah. Well, someone was mentioning earlier that apparently he had, um, and I haven't checked this myself, but someone in the chat earlier was saying that Gavin Lux put on like 20 pounds of uh, of muscle, but not, he wasn't looking thick, but, you know, so that could possibly be, you can possibly attribute that to, to that injury, but... No, I feel like uh, I feel like ACLs are weird, right? Like, I mean, that might have happened even you know even without losing the weight or adding the weight. Could have happened anyway, you know. All right, so we got. 2022 Bowman Draft, first edition. Basically the same checklist, but it's first edition. And the first edition stamp, an early look at the draft class. Pretty nice break. Yeah, uh, the big hobby news of the day um, is that Tom Brady will be in the next Bowman draft. Autos. And I think, I believe, they'll probably put him in as, like, in his original draft photo if, they, if he ever took one of those. But he was drafted by the Expos. So it be the Nationals who would get those. But yeah, I don't know how. I think, I think he's. Uh, I would imagine that any autograph, those autos would be really short printed. I think he is one of the most expensive players in terms of getting his auto into sets. Jet Williams, blue, there's the number, 20 out of 150. That'll be for the Mets, Nancy with the Metropolitans. Reggie Crawford. Typically it doesn't do much, I, I, that I don't know. I mean, who knows? Maybe his his deal with Tops could be different. There could be more autos, or maybe not. Maybe it'll be less. There's Simon Juan to 150, also for Nancy and the Mets. His carpo should be the one pick they always show of him at the what was it the the combine. I think that was a photo from the combine, right? Oh, so like, this is an error. No. We got George Valera, one out of 75 for Cleveland. That's gonna be for Ryan Heinz. The Tamar Johnson Bowman first paper will go to the Pirates, Ryan Heinz with that one as well. Holiday. Jackson Holiday paper. They should use that photo, but maybe I'm thinking they're 
for his debut in Bowman Draft. He'll probably, uh, he'll probably use a more favorable picture, I would hope. More flattering picture. There's Eddie's Leonard to 150. And he's Leonard for the Dodgers. That's going to be for Anthony. The Dodgers do have, do have a backlog of, of uh, young infielders coming up the ranks. So maybe there'll be another one behind Gavin Lux. And that's Willie Vasquez for Tampa Bay. Gold for Brian Heyman. be an opportunity for for another youngster in the spring, still early in spring training. There's Colson Montgomery to 150. That's going to go to Oliver and the White Sox. And the Elijah Green paper will go to Brandon and the Nats. There's Lamar uh, King Jr. to 75. That's for Ryan Heinz and the Padres. Was, was there a picture he recently, the one he took recently looking thirsty for women? Tom Brady take a, what, what, where was that on his, on his social media? On his Twitter, Tom Brady posted a pic of himself in his underwear looking like a model. Kind of awkward. What, what was the caption? Was there a caption? Just setting thirst traps for people? Th thirst traps? I'll, be I'll, bet his, I'll bet his kids are like, come on, Dad. You gotta be kidding me. I did not see the story out of Illinois where the wind blew off the head of a statue of Superman. First off, there's a statue of Superman in Illinois? What's the context of this statue? of a post office? There's Drew Gilbert to 150. That's going to go to the Strohs. That'll be for Chris. Eric Brown Jr., 73 out of 75. Chad Daw. 
with the Brew Crew. With the uh, late first round pick. Oh dear, he titled it, Am I Doing It Right? I mean, in spite of his accomplishments on the field, in spite of his, his accomplishments on the field, uh, Um, oh dear. Oh dear. Very, very cringy, Gilo. And in, in spite of his accomplishments on the field, uh, Tom Brady, just like any other middle aged divorcee, divorcee. Got a nice Nick York orange, 18 out of 25. Red Sox, Clint. There's William uh, Bergola, 99 out of 150. Honest question, is Tom Brady losing it like Kanye? That's a, that's a hell of a comparison, Rex. I don't think, uh, I don't think Tom Brady's come even close to doing that, anything like Kanye. There's been no anti-Semitic statements there. No wildly offensive tweets. Nothing that would jeopardize any of his, uh, his sponsorships. It's Termar Johnson, 40 out of 50. Nice gold paper. Paper? Gold something for the Pirates. That's for Ryan Heinz. I mean, I think Tom. I think Tom Brady's just acting like, like I said, a middle-aged divorcee. I don't think that's crazy. Nineteen out of one fifty. Connor uh, Prelip for the Twins. That's for Robert. You know, Jackson Holiday. Let's see if we can find some parallels of that too. There's Jordan Sprinkle. Sprinkles to 150. Yeah, maybe that's what it is. He, yeah, he has been cut off from social media for so long. During the Patriot days. He's got a lot of free time on his hands. Now he's just like he's just just posting really, really dated tweets. He's gonna start uh <laughs> Brady's gonna start posting like ice bucket challenges, just like he's just catching up with social media. Right, yeah, he starts doing the Tide Pod challenge. He starts like recycling old posts. Just embarrassing his kids. Dad, come on, stop doing that.
Right. Exactly. Middle-aged Tom Brady, just not super tech savvy, posting posting old old Twitter memes and old Twitter challenges, social media challenges. He would be one to ask why the break isn't on the schedule when there's still a filler left. Like, come on, Tom Brady. I mean, it's like he's in a time machine. He's been focusing on football for so long. Like, wakes up from social media slumber and he's just like, all right, let's go. There's Alex Freeland to 150. About who's starting a break in town? Tom Brady? I don't, I don't remember that. There's Jason Curio to 75. Brother of Jackson, the Brewers is the Brewers Curio. Jason Curio goes to Cleveland. That'll be for Ryan Hines. Alex De Jesus to 150. It's for Toronto. That's going to go to Chris. Elijah Green going to Brandon and the Nats. Hopefully, we can find some parallels of him. The stuff we want to see. We got Jose Ramos to seventy five. Uh, Dodgers, that's for Anthony. Kumar Rocker, light blue, sky blue parallel. And Joe Lamp, I love Lamp, five out of 50. Or you think it's, you think it's Lampy? Hmm, there's some rumor about Tom Brady doing some, I just can't see Tom Brady doing breaking. <laughs> He's going to get paid zillions of dollars to go on TV and talk about football. I think he's going to do that instead. But I don't know. Maybe at one point there was chatter about that. Anyone else remember that? Imagine Brady going on a live stand-up tour just doing dad jokes. I mean, probably sell out wherever he goes. All right, two more of those uh, first editions to go. I also think I, this shoe box is not enough for this break.
Stand by, folks, while I reorganize some stuff here. All right, thanks for your patience. Let's get to the next box. Yeah, I, I, we, we always laugh about this. Whenever we get these back in stock, we're like, what was the, tr what was the decision in, in individually boxing these first editions? I was just joking earlier that there was like, there was like some, sales, some sales rep at Uline who like hoodwinked tops into placing like this massive order for individual boxes. Instead of far fewer boxes to make a 12 box case or something like that. All right, Lakers still hanging tough here. No LeBron, only down by one, six minutes left in the third. No D'Angelo Russell either. Oh, car chart. We are. This break is far from over. I don't think. Are we even halfway through this break? Got to play to the whistle. We have this current box, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight boxes to go. I wouldn't start getting worried until we get to the last few boxes. And after I finish uh, this box and that last first edition box, and all these other ones are far fewer packs, far fewer cards, and, and another couple of levels up on, uh, on quality, so we'll start to move pretty quickly after this. We got Justin Boyd for the Reds, 25 out of 150. And it'll be for Brandon and the Red Legs. Elijah Green. And of course, all card ship, just as a reminder. Kevin Alcantara for the Cubs, 120 out of 150. And a Trevor Martin, one out of 75. Tampa Bay, Brian Hayman. Cubs, Adam Copperman with the Cubbies. Got Jose Salas, 12 out of 25. Nice orange for Brian Crouch and the fish. J. 
Jace Young, 42 out of 50 for Clint and the Tigers. Another Tamar Johnson for Ryan Hines and the Pirates. Trevor Martin Blue to 150. That'll be for Tampa Bay. Another one for Brian Heyman. Jackson Holiday. Holiday. Another one for Brian. Ah, trying try car chart, trying the old, the old reverse psychology. Curtis Mead to 75 for Heyman and the Rays. Ooh, look at this. An Elijah Green one of one Bowman first first edition. One, 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 one. That's Brandon Jensen. And the Washington Nationals. One, 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 one. For the first round pick. That's awesome. Brandon. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo. Nice. One of one. First edition. And Bowman first, one of one. Oh my God. Elijah Green, fifth overall pick, first rounder for the uh, Nationals first round pick. Pretty nice. Yeah, that's an eBay one, 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 one. All right, another one of those first editions coming up. Woo woo! Nice. I'm gonna need my own thing though. I can't. I can't do the journalism. Or you don't even have to do anything. No pressure. It'll it'll come to you. To the shoot. Thanks. Yeah, uh, Rex. I I haven't heard anything otherwise. Brady's still gonna be the lead Fox analyst. The only news I heard he's not starting this season. See, he'll start uh, the start of the 2024 NFL season. And then uh, I think Greg Olson was on the on the uh, on the lead team. So I think he gets relegated to uh, to JV. And I want to say, I, I heard this on, on local sports talk radio, so, but I've not confirmed it. But I want to say that once, uh, there's something in, in Greg Olson's contract that says that, um, that when he, if, he's, if he's not the lead color analyst for Fox, like he gets a huge pay cut if he's not the lead analyst. So Brady cost him a lot of money. <laughs> Now, now I'm interested in uh, MLB.com have have spring stats for us here. I wonder if uh, is, is Elijah Green getting any time? No, I don't think so.
Uh, for what it's worth, after seven at bats, Bobby Dalbeck is leading the league in uh, OPS 2000. He's four for seven with three doubles and a home run. That's pretty good. Thanks, Michael. Have a good one, man. See you tomorrow. Didn't he have a hot spring last year? I mean, it's still very early, but I feel like he had a hot... That Bobby Dalbeck had a hot spring last year, and that, that got people excited about Bobby Dalbeck, but never... Never quite got settled into the season. 10 out of 50, Mikey Romero. There's Brandon. You're welcome. You might be lagging behind a little bit, Brandon. Make sure you hit that live button, but congrats. There's Robert Moore, 31 out of 150, blue for the Brewers, blue Brewer for Chad, Chad Daw. Kevin Parada to 150. And Henry Williams, 37 out of 75 for the Padres. Ryan with that one. And Kevin the Devil wears Parada. Goes to Nancy and the Mets. Is that some red? It is. Two out of five red Anthony Volpe. Nice one for the Yankees. Another train whistle. I mean, he's been getting some looks in spring training. 30th overall pick by the Yankees back in 2019 and might make the roster at some point this year. Um, Octavio got randomized. The Yankees, congrats, man. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. Oh, you had to pause to take a work call. Brandon, you got to tell your work. Listen, sorry, work. Uh... I'm in this group break, so let's uh, let's let's table let's table this phone call to some other time. Holiday, Carson Williams, uh, seventy-seven out of one hundred and fifty for Tampa Bay. That's for Mr. Brian Heyman. Jackson Holiday going to Brian, Brian B, and Baltimore. Tamar Johnson going to Ryan and the Pirates. And we got a Sedan Rafa Rafaela. 43 out of 50 for Boston. That'll be for Clint. Brenner Cox to 150. This Cox going to Brandon with the Nationals. 14 out of 150. This Cox was a uh, fourth round pick.
How big is this Cox? He's 6'3", 195. All right, nice Cox. Uh, let's go back in time just a little bit to 2021. Bowman Chrome Sapphire. Uh, just your employer, Rex. Just your employer. to the good stuff here. Got a nice Miguel Cabrera, Miggy. That is 33 out of 99. Joey Gallo to 99. And a Riley Green, 22 out of 50. Nice one for the Tigers. That's going to be for Clint. Fifth overall pick. I think he might be getting some more, some major league time this year, maybe? Has he already been getting some time? Joey Gallo, that's Rangers edition going to Rennie. And the Rangers. We were playing some Who Am I the other day, or last night, with all those baseballs. I forgot that there was that one year where Jorge Soler hit like 40 home runs. All right, behind Michael Toglia is Matthew Libertor, 58 out of 75 for the Cardinals. It's going to go to Tristan. Now we'll come back to 2022 and we'll do these uh, light boxes here. Um, it's 2022 Bowman Draft light. We'll do two boxes of the draft and two box or one box of Bowman Chrome uh, light. And we're looking for exclusive uh, black and white Ray Wave parallels. Now, D'Lo is saying, Daniel is saying, the, the Elijah Green Draft, first edition, out of five was listed for 1100 and sold for a best offer. There are two other out of fives listed at 1500 and 3000 So he's thinking that one of one could be several Gs, probably worth grading. Nice. Congrats, Brandon. And and you know what? That was a uh, that was a spot that Brandon won in a filler, so he, he didn't have to he didn't even pay full price on this break. These cards are all going to be upside down, right side up. Here's a Jackson Holiday paper for Baltimore. All, all of those Jackson Holidays will definitely. We'll definitely add up, Brian B. These are the Ray Wave right here. There's Kobe Mayo for Baltimore. We got Drew Thorpe, not numbered.
Nate Furman, Bowman first, Ray Wave for Cleveland. That's going to go to Ryan. Yeah, Gilo is saying, yeah, some of those base papers can still rake in the dough. Absolutely. There's Drew Baker, Yellow Wave, Yellow Ray Wave to 75. Or Lava. I think they used to call it Lava at some point, too. I think. It's not number right now. It's just. Good. Yeah, that's why we ship everything. And, you know, it's probably worth. Because right now, I mean, the main priorities are just like some of the the higher round draft picks, you know, the um, Tampa Bay Rays, by the way, Brian Heyman, you know, the bigger names. But, you know, any of these Bowman first guys, who knows? It's, it's just worth kind of holding on to, you know, put them in a box, you know, but market 2022 Bowman draft and then check in on some of these some of these guys like a few years later and you know you might be surprised I think this might be a short print it's Jet Williams Maybe. That goes to Nancy. All right, let's it's getting it's getting serious now. Hoodies off. If OCD, if I was collecting Elijah, I would not be able to stop thinking about that card. You know, I mean, at, at this point, it might, it might now be a collecting mission. You know, your mission, Brandon, should you choose to accept it, is to build the, uh, is to build the Elijah Green, now that you have the one of one, to build the Elijah Green Rainbow. Out of uh, out of first edition. That's to four ninety nine. There you go, Adam Kupperman has an out of 150 from first edition. Yeah, it's gonna be an expensive rainbow. Or you can sell it. Sell it to someone who is on that mission. But I'll bet someone out, someone's out there doing it, trying to build that rainbow. Maybe that person will get all of them graded. And then that person just has a heavy position, a heavy position on Elijah Green and his success in Major League Baseball. Now the Lakers are down by ten. But 9.24 left in the game. We've got time. Let's see if the Lakers can pull this off. Not with that turnover by Hachimura. It turns into a fast break dunk. Don't like that. Final uh, Bowman Draft Light box. I 
Jackson. Another Jackson holiday. See ya, Evan. Thank you. Brian B. with Baltimore. There's a Brooks Lee for Texas, black and white. Bowman first for, uh, not sorry, for the Twins, that is. That's going to go to Minnesota. That'll be for Robert Runkle. Yeah, Moran put up 28 in the third. Jeez. And here I was thinking that the Lakers were playing some good defense in the first half, and then... Spoke too soon. Cursed it. We got a Brian Acuna to a 499. That's for Minnesota. That's Ronald's brother. Nick Bittison for the Dodgers. Black and white Bowman first for Anthony. Yeah. Joe Pizzle definitely excited about Kevin Durant's debut. Tomorrow, tomorrow. Oh, right, it's February. And February only has 28 days. Tomorrow is Wednesday, the first. Which will be his debut. Bowman first, Speckle, Logan Tanner for Cincinnati. That'll be going to Brandon. J.R. Ritchie for the Braves, Chad Cromwell. Who shot J.R.? Who did shoot J.R.? All right, Tamar Johnson paper for the Pirates, Ryan Heinz. J.R. going to Chad once again in the Braves. All right. Bowman Draft Light, done. Bowman Chrome Light Edition. Random sponge. I forgot about that sponge block. Block of sponge, block of styrofoam. Okay, what are the five exclusive black and white mini diamond parallels? That's the exclusive in these light boxes. And then we'll close out with 2022 Bowman Draft Sapphire Edition. Fire Department heard about the Elijah Green one of one. It's Joey Gallo. Mini diamonds to one ninety nine. Matt McLean. Um, oh, they're towing cars from that lot now. Just oh, are they? Let you know. Yeah, I, I left and then I had a bad conscience about it. So. Oh, okay. So I'll move my car. Yeah, I'll leave the gate open for you. After this.
pulled a car in here. Oh, did they? When did they start doing that? Last Saturday. Did they leave notes or anything? Yeah, there's a big. There's three big signs now. Oh, I guess they got tired of people parking there. Yeah, exactly. Fan store, you used to be cool. <laughs> Willie Vasquez to two ninety nine. Um. Max Muncy, Bobby Wood Jr. rookie card. Daniel Vasquez, purple shimmer to 250. I was wondering why that lot was so empty yeah, today, yeah. and I was like, I wonder if yeah. they're. No, I, I was leaving and I was like, no, I gotta tell Joe. <laughs> what times does the van store close? Well, no, it's for the people that live there. It's for residents only. That's for residents? Vans can't park there anymore either. It's for oh, residents only. I didn't realize that lot was within. What yeah. about the building? Oh, are, is that the parking in the back? The, yeah. Exactly. So I'll leave again open for you with your card. Uh, I'm going to pause the video. When we come back, we'll have the final two boxes. I'm going to move my car. Be right yeah. back. <laughs> and welcome back. 2022 Bowman Draft, our final two boxes of this 13 box Bowman Bonanza Mixer. We've got another version of this in the store. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. Same deal, selling uh, 12 spots outright and planning on two fillers. That's how we sold this one. 12 spots, two fillers. Um, if the 12 spots move, if they sell out pretty quickly, then uh, we, can, we can cancel a filler, add more spots back in. We can do it that way as well, so we reserve the right to pivot to whatever helps the break move more quickly. Coming up after this, let's look at the schedule. Uh, oh, I, I will. Be, I am getting a little peckish here. Yeah, I'm refueling the Big Hit Express after this, and then when we come back after my break, I think everyone could use a little breather after this break here. And then then uh, we'll do Mosaic Baseball Choice Edition. That's the filler for Hit Parade. Then the Hit Parade Dual Case Break will happen, and after that, we'll do a. Uh, Prestige value pack, and then we're going to go through some more orders. I think we got 30 orders here, and then we'll see uh, we'll see what else we can line up for the rest of the evening. Like last night, we might be we might be booked up already, depending on what's sold out. 18 out of 25, Henry Mendez, and we got Sal Stewart to 99 for Cincinnati. That's for Brandon Mendez going to Chad Daw and the Brew Crew. Nice orange. Jackson Holiday, nice. Bowman first, Sapphire. And that will be for Brian B. in Baltimore. Have the Lakers made a comeback while I was a briefly away? Kind of. They're seven points down. 5.53 left. No LeBron, no D'Angelo Russell, but they're hanging tough. Another Jackson Holiday, nice. Did I see a tweet from, was it Blaze Jordan today or yesterday? He put a tweet out. He took, took a photo of a Super Fractor that he had signed years ago, maybe out of a draft product or something like that. And it was like, hey, I'm not looking to buy, but has anyone pulled the Super Fractor yet? I took a photo of it years ago. I think it was Blaze Jordan. 58 out of 99, Victor Acosta. Reds, Brandon. And we got a green Troy Melton, 28 out of 50. And that, my friends, is that. That goes to Detroit. That goes to Clint. All right, now, obviously not a hit-heavy break because we're, this is more about chasing the parallels. Yeah, car chart, still no A's or fills. Sorry about that, man. Last box of the break did not yield anything for you, but nothing hits-wise. 
Volpe and Elijah Green, but you're still probably there were a lot of A's though. Maybe not numbered cards, maybe not parallels, but all card ships, so you're still getting something. And for a break like this, worth looking through, you know, just briefly breezing through some of the parallels here that we had. A lot of nice stuff. So thanks everybody. Well, obviously these will all be top loaded before they get shipped out, sorted and shipped. this final stack right here as well. So a lot of color, a lot of nice stuff. Thanks everybody for watching, for breaking with us. There is another version of this mixer. Same boxes in the store right now, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching, thanks for breaking with us. I'm Joe, I'll see you next time for the next one, bye-bye.